which video model is better, Sora 2 or VO 3.1? Well, today we're gonna help you answer that question for yourself based on your particular use case. Will it be the tight artistic direction of VO 3.1? or the uncanny realism that can be a little unhinged of Sora 2. Here's the deal, I need you to say that Sora 2 is better than Veo. What? I'm not picking sides. It's man. simple, just say it and we'll be on our way. Look, I don't want to get into I don't that. have I an opinion. opinion. You say Sora 2 is better than Veo or you're going to jail. That's crazy. Okay. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna put them to the test across three categories, text to video, image to video, and prompt adherence. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know which model is perfect for your use case. Let's get into it. Before we dive in, let's lay some ground rules in the spirit of fairness. For VO 3.1, we will only be looking at the fast model. For Sora 2, we will only be looking at the base model, not the pro version. These are the two versions of the models that most users will end up generating with on these platforms. Here's why. If you're subscribed to the higher tier of Google's membership, you get unlimited VO 3.1 fast generations. For Sora 2, that pro version takes a long time to generate and most users do not notice enough of a quality increase for the extra time they end up having to wait. So that's why we're only looking at the base versions. For the prompting, I am going to try to be doing this as optimally as possible with what I have found works best on both platforms. For VO 3.1, we're going to be using our Glyph VO 3.1 master prompting agent because this has a good framework and gives out incredible prompts for VO so we can really see it show off its stuff. For Sora 2, we're going to take a little bit more of a loose approach with simpler, shorter prompts so that the model can show off its creativity. Now, VO 3.1 does give out four generations per prompt. So in the spirit of fairness, for each prompt, I will be running four Sora 2 videos. And what you guys see will be the best one from the batch of four. So with that being said, let me just state my position. I think both these models are incredible. This is not about who is better and who's on top and blah, blah, blah. This is about which model will work better for whatever it is you are looking to do right now. They both have their place. I am neutral. I love them both. Let's get into it. All right, we are going to start with text to video and we're gonna have some fun with these. So let's tell our VO 3.1 master prompting agent, write us a prompt describing a gothic streamer, Japanese girl who is a mukbang ASMR YouTuber and she is eating the spiciest ramen in the world. The VO 3.1 master prompter agent is going to write us the prompt that is ideal for VO. Meanwhile, we're going to take that core idea and put that into Sora 2 and generate four videos. And I will be back with the best one from each. Okay, this was interesting, man. Let's watch these. I'm going to play VO first. This one's called the Blood Moon Inferno. And now let's check out Sora. She said the prompt is fire. So uh, Sora didn't actually make the girls eat the noodles in any of the videos. In none of the generations did the girls actually eat the noodles. The flavor is amazing. They're like, they, they, they're like about to. I'm not feeling it down to my bones. They, you're not feeling anything because you're not eating it. It's so intense. I'm already sweating. The chili's hit right away, but it's so good. Let's try a sip of the broth. It's like liquid fire, but come I'll say the prompt was pretty much on point. Intimate mukbang studio, like this is long. I'm not gonna read it, but let's just say that it pretty much followed the prompt to the T. The only part it did not get is at the very end where she says, oh wow. That's the only thing, but it pretty much got all of the prompt in there. Meanwhile, just Sora with like that one simple thing, just none of the girls actually ate the noodles and then I was like maybe this is a fluke let me run a few more and it burns. It burns. 
hands. But I love it. <laughs> uh, point VO. <laughs> Round two. Let's write a prompt describing a ring doorbell camera video that captures a cat and a mouse sitting on the front porch of a suburban home smoking a hookah together when suddenly a middle-aged woman runs up from the yard behind them screaming and begins spraying them with a hose. All right, let's see the results. So let's start with VO. <laughs> that's pretty good that's pretty good i i'm going to show you guys two of the sora ones because the sora ones were pretty hilarious here's number one hey what in the world get off my porch get me <laughs> <you, laughs> <you, you, you. laughs> <laughs> Look at the way it jumped. Hey, what the world? Get off! <laughs> <laughs> this, this is this is what I think. This is this one I think was the best. <laughs> They're just chilling, man. Bro, it is crazy how good Sora is at that. And it's like realistic the whole way through. The thing I'll say about VO on these is like, it, it feels a little too like the pieces are put together. Whereas Sora is just like, that was recorded by a actual ring doorbell camera. And the quality is all fuzzy. So it just adds to it. it Sora takes this one. Sora, t Sora takes this one for sure. Unbelievable. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Write me a prompt describing a 1950s style television commercial starring a charismatic pinup model that is trying to sell people nuclear shelters to shelter their family for the upcoming day when the sun will crash into the earth. You know, let's let's see. This is this is how we discover new things, guys. Let's see. Let's see what they do. <laughs> This one was good. This one was good and it wasn't what I expected. Let's check out VO. When the sun comes crashing down, you'll want your family safe and sound. Our deluxe sun shield shelter fits four comfortably. I think that is phenomenal. Now let's check out Sora. This is with the simple prompt, right? So basically just the idea that I gave the prompter to write the complicated prompt for VO, that's exactly what I put into Sora and this is what it gave us. Folks, the scientists all agree. One of these mornings, that big bright sun is going to tumble right down to earth. But that doesn't mean your family has to miss supper. So when That's good. And then just because I was curious, I said, you know what? Let me try to give Sora the exact same prompt that I gave Vio over here. The exact same one. And this is what we got. When the sun comes crashing down, you'll want your family safe and sound. Our deluxe sun shield shelter fits four comfortably. So I think they're all good in their own way. However, I do think the first one from Vio was like top tier. When the sun comes crashing down, you'll want your family safe and sound. Our deluxe sun shield shelter fits four comfortably. Especially if we're looking at like the music and the ambiance and the way it drew the sun in like that old style with it's just like it's all so kind of dystopian feeling i really dig this so i'm gonna i'm gonna give vo a point on that one all right so next we're gonna move into some image to video and we are going to start with these adorable little mochi balls sitting on the plate so what we're going to do is give that image to our prompter and we're going to tell our prompter this <laughs> using this as the starting image Write a prompt that describes a hand reaching down to grab one of the mochis to eat it. And as it pulls one of the mochis up from the plate, the rest of the mochi characters scream in horror and begin running away as hands pick them off of the table one by one and they're eaten. Let's check out VO first. <laughs> I 
I think one of them got away. I think one of them managed to survive. And now let's check out Sora. <laughs> Sora was so much more lively. I actually really enjoyed the Sora one. The Vio one, if this was like a specific, maybe like product shot, I could see that definitely being stronger. However, Sora, that, that was great on Sora's behalf for this one. When it comes to image to video, I'm always a fan of sitting down and really trying to prompt for things that have no context in the image to see how far I can push the model because then that's kind of information that I can store in the back of my head for future times when I do have a client project or a work project or something so I know the capabilities of the models and I can better communicate that to people. So for this image in particular right here, we're going to try to get the head to open up and reveal a smaller life form living inside of it. And let's see if Vio or Sora does that better. So here's what we're going to tell our prompter agent. Using this image as the starting frame, we need a prompt that describes the head of this alien opening up to reveal a smaller insectoid alien life form that is very visceral and tissuey, piloting the larger alien body like an exoskeleton. Nothing about this should feel CGI, nor should it feel fake. It should feel very alive and visceral. This one was a good one. So let's start with Sora on this one. Okay, it did it it did the thing. It did the thing, but now let's look at Vio. Oh god. Yeah, bro, look at oh. It, VO is so good at doing this stuff. And this is similar to even the prompt that I asked for in the intro sequence for this video with the, the retro pixel character in my head. Um, VO is really good with the complexity here. Sora did it, but I don't, I think this was a bit too, too granular and too detailed for Sora. So I did give Sora a much simpler prompt. When I tried to give Sora the exact same prompt as Vio, the content moderation on Sora got us and it just denied it, period. So oh, Vio is really good at this though. For our last test, we are going to try to do some logo animation. So we just rebranded our Wednesday live streams from Glyph TV to the AI Slop Review. And this is a logo that I created for us. Let's try to animate this. So we already gave it to the VO 3.1 master prompter and we are going to ask it, using this logo as the starting image, write me a detailed prompt describing a fluid logo animation that really plays into the slime and the ooze dripping off of the wording while the eyes blink and the worms crawl out of the letters. This should be a high quality motion graphic animation. These are close guys, these are close. So let's start with Sora on this one. All right, that's really good. Unfortunately, we get the logo on it because this is an image to video, so that's just kind of a constant downside. However, let's move to VO. Mm. I will say the overall fidelity of VO is just really strong. The animation is really great, and I really love the drips, and even how, like, the green drips through the pink. So, logo animation, don't sleep on the motion graphics that VO can do. That's going to be it for this video. We sincerely hope that you were able to walk away from this one learning something new, whether it was a prompting technique or just a clearer realization of what these models are and maybe aren't very good at so that you have an easier choice deciding what to use 
in your next project, or if you can only pick one platform, which platform to go with. If you're new here, please consider hitting us with a like and a subscribe as it goes a really long way in helping us continue to make you the highest quality AI tutorial content. And every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Pacific, come hang out with us live on the AI Slop Review live stream here on YouTube and over on our X account at HeyGlyph. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.